yesterday, April 11th, about 35,000 school teachers descended from all over Denmark upon uh, Christians for Parliament building in, uh, inside Copenhagen. And this is a small, small part of this gruesome school. Every morning for the last couple of weeks, I've been standing out and protesting. This sign here says, um, we want to teach Pusum School. Due to the lockout, which is the opposite, of, which is the other end of a strike, where the um, the government actually, Coel, Communes um, Landsverein, locked out teachers from the school during a um, negotiation, wage negotiation. They're trying to increase the amount of hours teachers work, reduce the amount of preparatory time and reduce the wages of teachers all at one in one stroke it's, it's a horrible thing that's going on but it's also reflective of many things that are going on in the united states where governors go in and tell teachers they cannot strike you're going to explain to me in english what it is that's going on with the school system in denmark which is under a lockout right now by the state Children are not able to finish their education. I'm going to be speaking now with a uh, a Danish teacher of English. Okay. Yeah, hit a Ben Lorenzen, Ben Lorenzen. Yeah, Lorenzen. Lorenzen. So yes, my name is Lena, and I'm a teacher here at a local school. Husum School. Husum School. That's right. And this is a colleague of mine. Hello. And we're standing here very early in the morning instead of being teaching at our school because we're not allowed to go into the school because we are we are locked out it as it's called by the state. And that means that the government has told us that we do not agree to the to the the way they want us to work. So they have got the power of doing this and saying, well, we don't allow you to go to school at the expense and of you, children. And the children are not allowed to come to school. Unskripa means them. So, this is uh, their way of using the power, if you ask me, and I uh, disagree in it. And that's why we are standing here, because the only thing we want is to be able to do teaching. Because, like, the children are the losers here. And we don't get any wage, and that's not our own choice. And, um, <clears throat> the only possibility that we can uh, sort of make aware of our existence right now is that we can stand here saying that it's not our conflict. We, the only thing that we want is to have our rights still as teachers and not to, to let the government decide how it's the right way to, um, to do teaching and to run a school. We're the one who are the teachers, and we are the one, the ones that uh, know how it's the right thing, uh, what's the right thing to do. And uh, at the moment, we do not know how long the conflict is going to last. It has lasted how long now? It has already lasted for a fortnight. Two weeks. It long. started uh, right after Easter holiday. What's going to happen to the children who are not getting education? Because I have, I understand that the wealthy few in Denmark can easily afford to have teachers come in privately to yeah. to teach and get prepare them for perhaps an exam or something like that. Yeah. Whereas the marginalized people in, in Denmark and, and yeah. the large majority of people don't have that luxury. Well, I don't know what the parents are doing actually because we, uh, until now, haven't had that much contact. Um, but I know uh, that it will become a huge problem for the parents to to, um, to have every, anybody to take care of the children because they can't they can't keep taking their children to their workplaces and they can't keep uh, telling that they won't come to work because they have to take care of the children and. Um, but the wealthy people are always the winners here, and it seems like that the government, in a, in, in a way, they sort of um, just try to make the the yeah the poor becomes poorer and the richer richer. 
that yeah, is probably that's... the way it's coming and, and they will always have the, the possibilities to employ people to take care of their children. But I think we have got a, we have got a very important challenge here to, to take care of our folks school, the way a school for, for all children here. And that is a huge um, challenge right now. On behalf of our future, I thank you. <laughs> thank you. Take care. <laughs> Hi. for day. Hi, Seleng. Pass <laughs> like to God for yourself, okay? Or for the pass I got for Boston. <laughs> <laughs>